Okay, you guys, today I have a very crazy video for you. Someone was trying to rob me on a bus. Achima? Si, me voy, Achima. Si. Tenango, tu destino? Si. Para Hachel, Chichicastenango. I met some locals who invited me into their kitchen. Here come the beans. I got a huge video ahead of you, and I'm so glad that you're here watching, and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. You know, when we travel together, we don't do things simple. Keep in mind, we are still in the lovely city of Antigua. I don't even know if I'm walking the right way. I think I need to, right, I think I need to walk this way. Okay, so <clears throat> we are of course walking the streets of Antigua currently. Our goal today is to make it to Lake Atilan. I heard that there is a shuttle you can take, and it's what all the tourists do, and it's like $20 and it takes you directly there. But when we travel together, I promise, I never do things the way everyone else does it, and I think it would be way more fun to go on an adventure today. Uh, you know, I love that you're here with me for these crazy adventures. Um, this street right now is like so beautiful. It's got the cobblestone and Everything is so pretty here. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna strap you guys on my chest. So you're with me. And we are gonna make our way around here. I did wanna show you this church really quickly because it's super beautiful. This is where everyone actually, they gather at night and they make like tons of street food. There's a few, few street stalls that are open right now, but not very many. ¿Cuánto vale por uno de este? 25. 25. Bueno, y, es, y este es de cerdo. Cerdo y res. No, solo cerdo. Adobado, lomo, chorizo y longaniza. Oh, bueno. Ok, gracias. So he said he wanted 25 quetzales. So that's about $3. And that was like a mixed pork sandwich. Um, ok, so here's the church. I promised you that you would be able to see. So beautiful. All right, so let's grab something tasty from this little panaderia acá. Hola. Quiero una de este queso de la pan quesadilla, por favor. Bueno, gracias. Sí. Oh. Yo comí lo mismo ayer, fue muy rico, increíble, para tomar des. Uh, Hay los encuentros solo la, ¿o sí? ¿Es correcto? Ok. Estoy emocionado para comer este, es muy rico, pero me voy a comer después. Bueno, gracias. Ok, that's good news. So, I'm not gonna translate all that for you in Spanish, but I looked up online the route of the buses that you have to take to get to Lake Atilan, and I just confirmed with the guy the four different buses I'm taking, and they said it's safe to take the buses. So, we have confirmed it with a local, which means it's definitely possible to do. Okay, so who we just walked by, you saw the lady that's behind me that was taking that order. What she does is she works for one of the restaurants inside of this giant market, and she visits all the different people in the stalls and she'll take their order and she's basically like a traveling waiter. So she'll take your order and then she'll go back to her restaurant, she'll cook the food for you, do whatever, and then she basically delivers to every single one of these different stalls and there's like tons of different people here that are doing that. We're in search for food. Uh, so let's go try to find the best possible food stall that we can. Let's check this fucking pig head out. Ooh, crazy. Hola. There's always little dogs hanging out, waiting to get a little scrap of food. Very typical. The one thing that you guys cannot experience, unfortunately, even though I love that you're with me for the video, is the smell of walking by a meat that is just in a market, sitting out during the day. It is uh, not the greatest smell in the world. Es fácil para hacer? Para los que sabemos, sí. Ah. Para los que no, no. Claro. ¿Cuántos longanizas vos asiste en toda su vida? ¿Cuántos? En la vida. No hay número. Hacemos más o menos 5,500 eh, semanales. 
o el mes? Semanales. So, semanales. semanales. Ah, oh, ok. Al mes serían... 22 mil 22 mil longanizas bueno ok gracias a ti bueno que es un plato de desayuno típica y cuánto por este 20 ok quiero mirar todo y vuelvo all right our current offer is 20 quetzales for breakfast we'll see if we can find something cheaper todos los desayunos son lo mismo precio más o menos o no cuánto acá 20 con fresco y tortilla bueno y es que es en el plato Trae huevos, frijoles, plátanos, crema, fresco, tortilla o té a café. Ok. Oh, bueno. Ok. Um, I like the second lady that we just talked to. So let's go back to her food stand. Hola! The kids. The kids are all doing fun little things in here. Oh. Famosa. Sí, creo. ¿Por qué no? Wow. ¿Cuántos años tú trabajas acá, en este lugar? Pocos días. Oh, pocos días. They were nice enough to let me come in the kitchen and film with them. So she said she's like a little bit nervous to cook the food, but I think she'll be fine. ¿Eh? Una plátano. Plátano para hacerlo frito. Es muy fresca. Ajá, cuando ya el aceite esté caliente, los vamos a echar acá. So she says once the oil gets hot enough, she will put the banana in the oil. Wow. Y este es para los huevos. Sí. Bueno. ¿Y cómo se dice ese? Man ¿Mantequilla? Margarina. ¿Este? Oh, margarina. Margarina. Ajá. Oh, okay. margarina. Oh. Acá en Guatemala la mayoría mantequilla, pero otros margarina. Claro. La mayoría margarina. Claro. Wow. I was asking her what uh, butter was called in Spanish. This is pretty cool. This tiny little kitchen over here. It's so small. And she's even got the eggs, too. Um, comen comida acá en un, en un día normalmente? Eh, varía. Eh, a veces comen 15, 20. En todo, to, en todo el día, sí. 20. Sí, sí, pero, 20 y los fines. Sí, a veces los... vienen más. Pero bueno. ahí vienen familia. Ahí uh. vienen familia. Vienen como tipo de. Uh. Okay, so I'm asking her how many people would eat here typically in a day, and she said uh, maybe 20 people, but if like a family comes there will be more people. Oh, okay, cool. So we got the platanos going over here. We got the eggs going. In English, un huevo is un egg. Egg, exactamente, egg. Y este es sal. When you mix the eggs, it's called huevos revueltos because volver or vuelver. ¿Cómo se dice? Revolver. Revolver means to mix or to like stir, so they're like scrambled eggs, basically. Oh wow! Y ahí son los frijoles. Frijoles. The beans. Wow. Wow, qué rico. Es, ¿Es lo mismo es incluido o no? Eh, no, aparte la gaseosa, lo que incluye acá es, ya sea, como es desayuno, café, Claro, fresco. claro, quiero un fresco. So she's saying, do you want a soda or do you want a fresh drink with your thing? ¿Y qué sabor es el fresco? Mora. M mora, ok. Mora es the flavor. Sí, una, una de mora, por favor. Okay. Y mora es... Una fruta. Es un, es mora. los... Frutas. Yeah, uh -huh. it's a fruit. I think... No, no I Oh. She said she'll open the fridge and she'll show us what the mora looks like. Wow, look at that. Oh. Oh, okay. Este. Wow. Una mora. Una mora. Bueno. Okay. 
Y este es con agua... Es agua purificada. Ok. Sí. I, I'm asking if it's with purified water just to make sure I don't get sick when I drink stuff because you never know what you drink in what, with the water and stuff. ¿De dónde es? De Estados Unidos. Cono ¿Conoces la película Twilight? Sí. Con los vampiros. Sí, sí. La casa de Bella es muy cerca de mi casa. ¿En serio? Sí. La, la película mira lo mismo de mi, de, mi, de mi vida. Los árboles son grandes. Hay un montón de lluvia. Sí. ¿En serio? Sí, la verdad. Oh. She's asking me where I'm from and I told her that since we live in Washington State, uh, I always tell everyone, think of the movie Twilight and the trees are really big and there's a lot of rain. Because you want to give people a mental picture of where you're from. Because imagine this is their entire life, right? They maybe have nef never left Guatemala and they're always so curious. And I love how people ask where you're from. They're so nice. Y crema es crema, sí. Oh, okay. Crema. Um, in, al, al lado, al lado. Por Where do you want the cream? Do you want it on top? I said no, I'd like it on the side, please. Right. Here come the beans. Ooh, it's a montón. Que bueno. Si, sí, si, sí, es perfecto. Wow, gracias. We're gonna have a very hearty breakfast today, you guys. Oh my god. So much food. And then here come the plantains. Y la crema es la, la última. Crema. Qué bueno. Es posible para tomar un poco de sal allá de los. Azúcar sería. Oh, es no, mejor. Sal, no. Oh, bueno, Azúcar. bueno, bueno. Ajá. Sí, bueno. Sí, está I bien. said, can I put a little salt on top of the bananas? And she's like, no, no, no. You want to put sugar. Sugar tastes better. And always trust the local. ¿Tú me dices? Es, es perfecto. Bueno, gracias. Sí, sí, bueno, bueno. Okay, so we got our finished plate here with our drink. I always think it's boring when people eat on camera. This is probably just going to taste like eggs and uh, beans and platanos, but I will taste a platano really quick. Let's tell you guys. There we go. Mm. It's like a sweet fried plantain. Mm. Oh, let's taste that drink. Let me see. Gracias. Bueno. This just tastes like grape to me, but I know they said it's not grape, but it's super sweet. As I was eating my breakfast, I had a little friend say, hola. She came over and she wanted to sell me some apples, and I don't really want to buy an apple, but I thought I would share with her some of my platano. Es rico? Mm -hmm. Yes. She told me that her father is at work right now and her mother is here in the market. So her mother must be selling something. ¿Qué venden su madre? Oh, lo mismo. Okay. Okay. So she says my mother sells apples and strawberries. ¿Ala y tu madre caminar para vender? ¿Es en una es una en una tienda? Oh no, she's outside and she sells them by the taxis. Okay, bueno. All right, so that was 20, but she was really awesome and let me film. So I'm going to give her 30. Do I have a 10 in here? 5, 10. 5, 10, 20, 30. Muchísimo gracias por todo. A, a ti. Gracias. All right, now we're off to go find the bus. Here is when the video is going to start to get a little bit crazy. Uh, this guy that is about to walk up to me is asking where my final destination is. And he's trying to figure out which buses I'm switching, where I'm going, and he's basically trying to set me up to get robbed. We're looking for our first bus, which is called Chimal. And uh, what the locals take here are called chicken buses. And they look like this. Achima. I think he said Achima. Let's see. 
I want you to pay really close attention to the guy that is ahead of him. I'll point him out with an arrow. Notice how many times he turns around and watches me and he's following in front of me as I get towards the bus because I'm now his target to rob. Achima? Si, me voy Achima. Si. Si, Keep in mind, the first guy doesn't just ask, hey, where are you looking to go? Or this is a bus to one destination. He says, oh, well, where are you going after that? He's trying to figure out my exact plan and my destination. Later I said, oh, I don't really know where I'm going and I tried to play it off, not realizing in my head that I had already told him I was going to Lake Atitilan. So he knows exactly the four buses I'm gonna have to take to get to my final destination. See? Uh, para primera, para Chima, para buscar. Ah, y después sí. Lake Atitilan. Cambias. Sí, Cambias. Para dónde vas? Uh, no sé. No llevas destino. Depende, depende de mis sentimientos. Oh, me llevas. Yeah. Me bueno, ¿es este? Sí. Okay. ¿Y cuánto vale por este? Okay. Yes. Bueno, gracias. A Chima. Este Chima. Bueno. ¿Cuánto, cuánto tiempo? Typically speaking, every public bus you get on has two workers. One is the driver and the other one is the person who collects the money. You'll notice as I get on the bus, neither of these guys are doing anything with the bus. They were just trying to scope me out before I got on the bus. And later you're going to see the actual person that was trying to rob me that follows me off of the bus. Para ir a Chima. Una hora. Una hora. Sí. Uh, vámonos. Buenas. Alright, we made it on our first bus and he told me it is an hour long ride and we are going to Chima. Check out this freaking bus with these local sticks. This thing is nuts. I know this might sound a little crazy, but I got off the bus I was just on because there are these two guys that were clearly looking at me. And you know when someone's like shaping you up to rob you when they just keep staring at you and you like look around and stuff. So that's the reason that I decided to change buses. So I'm gonna wait 20 minutes for the next bus to come. Here's my travel tip for all of you fellow travelers. Uh, trust your gut. If you feel like you gotta make a change or hop off a bus or do something, do it. I think he's gone now. Yeah, he's not at the bus stop anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an Uber to my next bus location and try to get that far and hope that uh, I'm basically ditching this guy so he can't find me. Hola amigo, ¿qué tal? This guy in the white right here that you're looking through out the window. This was the guy that was trying to rob me right there in the car. I was looking at the car. I just filmed him for you guys. The guy in the white who was following me. ¿Me entiendes or no? It was that guy right there that's standing that was trying to rob me right there. That's the guy. He was following me. So we're currently in our Uber here. Uh, it's gonna take about 35 minutes to get to the next place. And then we will take another bus. You never know what's gonna happen to you when you're traveling. It's always crazy. It's 40, see? Yeah. We made it on our final bus. That's gonna take us all the way to the lake. Oh, está poner gasolina. Oh. ¿Por qué este está acá? Este camisa. No pase sucio. I was told we're like 40 more minutes away from uh, from Panacho. We are in the city of Solola. My friend Zach just uh, gave me a little opinion of somewhere to go after, so I want to take you guys. Um, this is why we hopped off the bus, because we had to check out this entire city here. So there's this super cool church over there and this cool park. He said I can uh, take you guys somewhere with me like that has like a really beautiful view. So let's go check out this park over here. So he also told me we could go to La Torre, and if we go to La Torre, apparently that's like a really beautiful view. It must be this thing in front of us. This thing is crazy. Look at this giant building over here. Este es La Torre? 
Sí, la torre eh, museo. Bueno, Ajá. yo quiero uh, subir. Subir. Bueno. Eh, ¿10 quetzales? 10. Él, él dije 5. Oh, 5. Yeah. Bueno, está bien. Bueno, gracias. ¿Y nombre decir un nombre también o no? Eh, sí, por favor. ¿De okay. dónde viene? Perfecto. Este, ¿Y un nombre de acá? So, from that Spanish conversation, he wanted to charge me 10 for my ticket. And I said, no, no, sir, it's only five. People always want to get a little more money out of you is what I've realized. So, yeah. There's the city down there, but we are going this way. We can do this. It's a good workout for us. Oh, skateboard's getting stuck. Oh. That's it. That's the whole thing. Is this open? It's like nailed shut. Ah! All right, this is locked, of course. They're always locked. Wow. Well, I guess I'll just give you guys a shot of what we can see from here, which is the top of everything. Check us out. Good view from that window. See things from this side. And then... All right, I think we should go... Ooh, there's some cool looking street art. Let's go check that street out over there. Let's go see that bat. It looks pretty badass. Well, that was kind of lame, but that's how life is sometimes. Okay, uh, let's go check out that cool street art that we saw from up top. It might be more fun. Let's see. Hola. What's up? It's like, what's up? Uh, there are not enough people here. The street is way too dead. Let's go where the people are and see what everybody's selling. And then we will find our bus to our final destination of Panahacho. What a crazy freaking day it's been. It's been absolutely insane. So I asked a local why there were so many people that are basically here on Thursdays and Fridays and he said that this is like the biggest day of the week for people to show up and sell all of their different like supplies and things like that. So now we're going to find ourselves in a new little market here and hopefully uh, get lost. This looks really cool. I think the one positive thing about this market is that at least you can breathe in here. The one that we were at earlier this morning, there was like no ventilation and it was like, <laughs> you're like trapped in there. But it feels a lot more like air and free and stuff in here, which is nice. So, ah, oh, we've made it to the clothing part. Everything is for sale here. Let's see what we can buy. Buenas, todo bien? Bueno, bueno. There were actually two floors to this market. Uh, maybe there's more. We're still exploring it. There are more floors. Oh my God. There's more floors, all right. Let's go explore this floor and see what happens with these kids running around. Wow. Hola. All right, it's time for us to adventure around down this street and see what we find. You're coming with me. Oh. Oh, wow. Ah. Oh, 
wow, fish. ¿Cuánto vale por, es, por este? ¿Cuánto? Sí, 20 por este. Oh, wow, es un buen precio. Wow, crazy. Qué bueno. Gracias. Wow, so cool. Uh, okay, so she said that to buy those shrimps, it would be 20 quetzales. So I'll put a little thing on the charge, you can see it. Woo Everyone's so friendly around here. You like to see all this stuff. And maybe we take a quick look in this beautiful church here and see what it's like inside. Oh wow. Okay, wow. ¿A dónde vas? ¿Qué? ¿Con aguachín? Sí, bueno, sí. Y, uh, bueno, y cinco, ¿sí? Sí. Bueno, gracias. Gracias. ¿Es, ¿Es seguro para caminar? Sí. Oh, no. Bueno, gracias. We made it. And I see the Salina sign. Thank Jesus. Wow, everyone just got off the bus. Salina. You know. Sometimes traveling solo is very difficult, but I'm very thankful that I have you along with me for the adventure. I never feel like I'm, a, like I'm alone when I film these videos. It is 10 times more fun filming them knowing that you are coming along with me for these adventures. So thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, and I will see you in the next one.